Good morning and good day, beautiful seekers and friends alike. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Isabella the Seeker, local friend and intuitive, here with another beautiful, magical video. So the reason that I am speaking to you today, from wherever you are, I hope you're doing very well, by the way. I hope love and light and creative prosper have found you in every facet of your beautiful life. Now the reason I'm speaking to you today is that I've noticed being a very energetically sensitive human. As I walk around this world, I can really feel people's energy very strongly. And it's been like this since I was a little kid. Um, and I've always been very sensitive. And maybe you can relate, maybe consciously or unconsciously, you are very in tune with other people's energies. But yes, this is an energetic universe that we live in. Everything is made of energy and energy is always interacting, right? So even when people come into contact with each other, for example, you can feel the energy exchange like this. If someone was just coming from like, uh, I don't know, they got a bad grade on a test, right? And they have five other things to do today and they're stressed out, right? They might come into contact with you and they may be in a very like heavy energy, very tense, very dense. And you're just like, whoa, like where did you just come from? And you might be totally chill with that. Like you might be someone who's like, okay, your energy sucks, but like I'm in a good place. So I'm going to bring you up and we're going to be on par and I'm going to make you feel better. But like for me, I'm someone who's very energy absorbent, right? So if I come into contact with someone like that and my energy has not been protected properly, I may just kind of level out with them. Like I may just kind of take on their energy and like there's just this weird overpowering energy exchange and it's like, oh God, like your energy is so gross and now my day is like shit because I'm in this weird place and slowly I'll have to kind of rebuild myself. And I think a lot of the time this happens and we don't even realize that we've been affected by someone else's energy, right? So whether you're conscious of it or not, you are taking on other people's energy. You're feeling their energy. It's an energetic world we live in with lots of overstimulating factors. And if we're not careful, we're going to let ourselves slip into other people's vibe and it's not gonna feel good all the time. Most of the time, it ain't gonna feel good. So, about a year ago, I realized that I could no longer go on the way I was going on because it was so destructive for me to be in my beautiful high energy place, right? If I was like contacting the spirit world and like going out into nature and really connecting with the earth and really feeling good, really feeling high vibe, right? And then I come into contact um, or I'm kind of like trapped in a space with one person or a bunch of people who are in a really low, dense energy vibration, right? And it just, I couldn't go on like that. It wasn't working. It made me feel so trapped and there was such a dissonance within myself and I just hated it. So actually, I was talking to my therapist about this. I'm a big proponent of therapy, okay? Therapy is beautiful. Talking out anything is always good for you and good for the soul. So I was talking to my therapist about this and she was like, okay, well, you keep saying like you're an empath, like you're very empathic. And she's like, but it's not a bad thing. Like this is a beautiful thing, a beautiful ability. So we just need to find a way around this. And I think the way is through a visualization, right? So what if you, before entering a space, right? Or even at the very beginning of your day, close your eyes, take a few deep breaths and envision like a cocoon around yourself, right? An energetic cocoon forming around you. And this can be a cozy cocoon. You can be safe inside your cocoon. And it's just you and your beautiful energy and you can be present and all that you wanna be, but you're protected. There's a layer between you and the outside world and you're not gonna take on the energy of others, right? So I started practicing this. And in the morning, right after I wake up and maybe after I take a shower, I'm nice and cleansed. I close my eyes, I take a deep breath and I envision a white light energetic cocoon forming around my body, right? starting at the bottom of my feet, moving up my legs, moving up my body, and zipping up at the top of my head, right? Sometimes you would, I would even envi envision or like allow myself to hear like zoop, right? Like a zipping up sound in my head. Visualization is a very powerful tool. Visualization has been scientifically proven to change the state of your physical body. There's a physiological response when your brain is convinced enough of something. And so all you have to really do is like let yourself believe um, that's kind of the first step is like releasing your like guard, like letting your guard down and just being like, okay, let's try it, right? And once you do that, you can start to visualize whatever you want, right? So colors are very powerful. Wearing black is a very protective color. Black is a very protective color. White is a very like translucent kind of, I feel like um, cleansing energy, right? Pure. Um, so it kind of cuts through things to me. Like a white light can like clear away negative energy, at least in my 
my own beliefs and beingness. The energetic cocoon that I usually create is a white light cocoon, right? And I allow this just form around me and zip up at the top. And I remind myself, I am protected from the energy of the world. I will not absorb anyone else's energy now. And I'm free to express myself however I please. Right? And so I do this literally every single day for upwards of like a year and a half now. Um, and it has helped immensely. I swear, like I used to feel so drained at the end of the day. I used to feel just if I would be in the presence of someone's energy, I could feel the negative energy, but I would just get lost in it. Like I would just get sucked into it, right? And I would just want to help and try to heal them. And now there's a barrier. There's literally an energetic barrier between me and the energy of others. So I'm kind of almost witnessing their energy, but I'm not so much taken by it, right? I'm not like sucked into their whirlpool of energy. So I found this to be an incredibly powerful tool. Sometimes at night I'll kind of like ask my spirit guides to cleanse my energetic cocoon, right? Like in bed or just in my head, like <laughs> that rhymed. But I bet like when I'm in bed, like maybe I'll say out loud, spirit guides, like please cleanse my energetic cocoon. Please release me from it and cleanse my energy, right? And I'll take some deep breaths, cleansing breaths. Um, and you can just also ask for that in your head. You don't have to say it out loud, right? You know, just please, I cleanse my, I cleanse my energy cocoon now. Breathe in some breaths, breathe in, right? Visualize maybe a white light moving through your body, just kind of swirling and whirling and taking its time and breathe and breathe and breathe and release, right? There's so much power through the breath as well. Like I often at night do a visualization just in sitting posture, just breathing and visualizing a white cleansing light. Like I just tell myself in my head, it's a white cleansing light moving all throughout my body and I, because I'm very particular about my feelings and I can feel my energy so intensely that if there's kind of a disruption in my energy, I want to cleanse it usually, right? If I've got the energy in space. <laughs> energy. Ah, so much energy. Blah. And I'll move through each of my individual chakras with this white cleansing light. And I'll just breathe through it and I'll just let them be cleansed. And so we have so much power over our own bodies and what we can control about our energy and our presence. And it just takes a moment, honestly just takes a second and then some breathing like your breath is so powerful so yeah i mean there's a lot of science behind this stuff like your breath controls your physiological responses right if you're hyperventilating <laughs> right you're in a, you're you're pet you got you go into panic your body literally goes into a state of panic so if you can calm your mind down when you take deep breaths you calm your nervous system down right and so you calm everything down so your breath is very powerful please don't underestimate the power of your breath and the power of visualization. These are very powerful tools that we can use on our journey. And so I hope that you will give it a try if you feel like you've become energetically drained by others or you're just wanting to try something and see if it works out, see what it feels like. See, maybe you'll get more um, interconnected with your own energetic feeling and your own sense of yourself. So it's worth a shot and I really do recommend this energetic cocoon, right? So right after the shower or even just when you wake up, just stand tall and just close your eyes, take a deep breath and just envision a white light cocoon coming around you and zipping up at the top or a black light cocoon, very protective. Yes. If you liked my message, please make sure to like, comment and subscribe. Comment below what your favorite color is, if you've ever tried visualization techniques and your favorite number. Okay. I'm talking color. I'm talking techniques. I'm talking number. Okay. Thanks. Love you guys. Have a beautiful, blessed rest of the day. Stay protected, right? Don't let other people take your energy. You have the right to say no. You have the right to walk away from things. You are an all powerful being of divine light, okay? Own that shit, okay? Love and light, bye!